Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me using some um, recent ColourPop products I picked up. Not, it's not much, but um, I think this is the part of like, their spring release for 2019. So I do have the Sweet Talk eyeshadow palette. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I love ColourPop's eyeshadow formula and this palette was $16 or $18, but it's so pretty um i think her name is raw beauty by christy or something like that she's the reason why i really decided to go ahead and pick this up and it has two pressed glitters in it and i believe yeah i can feel it this is like a super shock shadow this shade called seaside it's like that um it's like that um, squishy, squishy, but it's pretty. Ooh, squishy formula. That's pretty. It's like it has like little glitters in it. So pretty. So I have that, and I picked up three of the soup, so juicy plumping glosses. If I like these, I'm gonna get more. Um, they're seven dollars on a Clubhouse website. This is so nice. This is so nostalgic I think for so many people like remember back in the day the squeezy tube glosses you would get for a dollar from the hair store like yeah so I got the shade Beechwood and I got the shade partly rowdy and then this one is princess cut and I'll be swatching all three at the end of the video so I'm going to go ahead, quickly do some brows, and then we're going to jump right into the eye tutorial. All right, so I've zoomed you guys in a little bit, and I've done my brows. And now we're going to go ahead and jump into the palette. So I'm first going to take the shade West Side, which is this like light brown right here. And I'm just going to use that to... I'm just gonna use West Side to really set my base and just get a nice transition going. I didn't use my Fenty Primer today. I used my Too Faced Shadow Insurance because I haven't used it in so long. So I figured why not? So that's good, just to get a nice base going. And then I'm gonna go out with the shade in case you missed it. Just like that terracotta shade right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend that as my transition shade as well. Just to start to, I want this to be really um, kind of peachy, warm peachy. We'll see how it comes out. But that's a really pretty shade right there. And I'm gonna go ahead, ooh, it came up a lot more pink on me. Wow, it's really pigmented though. It's a really pigmented shade and it came up a little bit more pink. Okay, I was not expecting that. I'm so tempted to do a halo eye, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. And then I'm just dipping back into a little bit more of West Side. And I'm just going to hit the edges of the shade we just used. And 
And then into my crease, I'm, I'm of course going to take the shade Feel Free, which is the darkest shade in the palette. It looks like a really dark purple um, with a little brown undertone, but yeah, let's go. Maybe it is brown. And I'm going to warm up um, the outer corner of my eye. I think I'm also going to put this shade on my lower lash line. I do like wish they would have put like a second deep shade in the palette, but that may just be me. And to blend that out, I'm just going in with a little bit of, in case you missed it, just to blend that out a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply some glitter glue because I really, I wasn't going to use the pressed glitters, but... Why the heck not? So I'm just going to go ahead and apply some Too Faced glitter glue. Deposit it on the back of my hand, as I always do. And then I go ahead and I pat it on um, the lid. Let's keep it pink. So let's go in with Prima Drama, which is the pressed glitter right here. It's like more pink, and that one is more like gold. So we're gonna go in with Prima Drama. Okay, it's like a um, chunky glitter. That's really pretty. This would be cute also like with that super shock shade, lay that down, apply the glitter on top, and that would be so pretty. Maybe I should have done that. That one, that eye needs more. Before we continue, I'm going to go ahead and start my face a little bit. Alright guys, so we're going to just jump into the face real quick. I'm doing this as a voiceover because I'm not using anything new. So I'm going in with the ColourPop No Filter Foundation in Deep Dark 200. And I'm going to blend that over my face. I realized before this video, like right before that, I'm out of my ColourPop concealer, so I need to rebuy that, because some of you, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that's one of my favorite concealers, so I need to repurchase that ASAP. So I'm going back in with this Crayon Case Concealer. I am giving this concealer another shot, and hopefully it'll work out for me. Um, it looks okay when you apply it, but other than that, it's not that great. Um, You'll see, I'm going to mix in another concealer on top because this concealer does crease on me. This day, it didn't crease, but I think it's because I applied the other concealer with it, which you'll see in a moment. Like, this concealer looks good. Once you apply it, like, it, the coverage could be better. Like, I'm not, I don't... <laughs> I'm just going to, just to be safe, go in with something else. But I just... It, it looks okay. Um, I just it, it 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 creased on me really badly. Um, the other day, and I was not happy. The coverage a little bit. I don't know. I don't 
know, y'all. Beauty, beauty bees, I don't know. And then I'm just gonna take my ColourPop, uh, like the banana one, sun, the ColourPop setting powder, the banana one. I'm gonna set my face. I really love this powder. Like I've been using it since it released, and I just really do love it. I use it all the time. And then I'm just gonna use my normal New York Colors liquid like liner to give myself a quick wing. And then I'm going to go ahead and dust off my bake and set my face using my ColourPop Sheer Coverage. It's called like Sheer Coverage Press Powder. As you can see, I hit pan on it. I, I've been using it. I've always loved this powder. Lately, the Morphe palette powder has stolen my heart, but I've been loving the ColourPop one as well. All right, guys. So I'm going to go back into my palette and I'm going to go back. Ooh. Actually, hmm. I'm gonna go back into in case you in case you missed it and feel free and I'm gonna blend these two shades. Oh, no, do I want to do that? Let's use a different shade. Metal is a really like muted pink. Yeah, let's use that a little. Let's see how that looks on the lower lash line. If it even show up on me. It shows up a little bit. Very faint. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of Feel Free. Just that really dark shade we're using the crease. And I'm going to lightly blend that as well. Then I'm gonna take that super, super, super shock, super shock shadow in the shade side to side. It's right here. It's like a champagne type of color. Onto the inner corner and slightly blend it onto the lid so it kind of has like this transition going. So I'm quickly going to go off camera, finish up my face, and then we're going to come back. And we're going to go ahead and jump into these glosses and final thoughts. All right, everybody, I'm back. And I have completely finished my face. I've blushed and highlight. For blush, I have on Black Radiance um, Rich Peach Blush, the Vivid, Vivid Pink. And for highlight, I have the ColourPop Loose Highlighter in Sugar Trap, which I, I've always loved that highlighter. And I've added lashes and contour and yada, yada, yada. Okay. So now we're going to get into these uh, three lip glosses that I got. So the first shade is Beechwood. Ooh. Hey, I don't like this. And it's like minty, not too sticky, super glossy. It gives you like the pout. Mm. I like Beechwood. This is like the, let me zoom you guys in. Beechwood is like the perfect nude gloss for me. Like for every day. I feel like they all gonna come up like this on me, but whatever. But this is Beechwood. I am obsessed. Next up, we have Partly Rowdy, which is like a pinky, shimmery color, like a pinky nude, but it has like glitter in it. This is partly rowdy. It's a lot more clear. Beachwood had like a brown tint to it, or the color that it is. 
this one is more of like a icy clear gloss but i love the little glitters in it like multicolored glitters i see blue green purple i love it that was a really ugly face but this is partly rowdy and then the last shade is the clear like it's like a regular clear gloss and this is princess cut Yes, Princess Cut, you're just what I wanted you to be. Oh my gosh. And this is Princess Cut. Right, everybody so now i want to get into a few final thoughts so then we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up first thing first i love the look that we created today using this palette this palette online the pictures doesn't really do this palette justice um i have heard people say that and it's true when i first was online i was like okay we got two pressed glitters cool but the first two rolls are just different shades of pink and the bottom roll has a few deep colors. Like, I just saw it and I was just like, no, I'll pass on this one. But as I started seeing like different tutorials with um, other YouTubers using it, I was like, wow, maybe I should, you know, actually give it a chance. And I actually like it. I like the pressed glitter thing ColourPop is doing. It's really, really pretty, if you guys can see. And I love the packaging. It's just really, it's an overall pretty, pretty pretty palette i'm gonna leave it out on my desk so that i continue to use it and the so juicy glosses i will be purchasing more of these i, I knew i would love them in the summertime i really don't dabble into lipstick and in the summertime i'm all about glosses especially now that i live in georgia just the humidity is gonna hit i'm not ready i prefer my lips to be as hydrated as they can so a quick lip balm a juicy gloss over top is gonna be my signature look. Um, love these, they're really minty, um, like tingly on the lips, not too much, not too sticky. But all I mean, your lips look look like they are like edible, and I love that. So, overall, I'm happy with everything I used. Um, everything that I've used in this video will be listed down below because I've used it all before, except for the palette and the glosses, of course. So, definitely go ahead and check this out, these products out. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.